what we need for this tutorial is some ink now i've got some really nice drawing ink but if you don't have drawing ink watercolors work perfectly well here's one that i've done earlier with watercolor so you can see you still get a fantastic effect uh, we are going to need some string or some wool or you can use thread we're going to need some tissue and you're going to need two pieces of paper a pencil and a pen and something heavy like a folder or a book so to begin then we need one piece of paper and we need to soak our thread or our wool whatever we're using in our ink so if you're using watercolor simply coat with a brush your wool in the paint of your chosen color i'm using ink so i am going to put the wool into the ink to coat it i'm going to leave the end out i want the end to stay nice and clean so i'm just gonna dip it in there nice and coated and carefully pull it out and i don't want it really 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 soaking wet so i'm going to put it onto the tissue just to soak up any excess colour so you can see it all bleeding off there that's perfect so remove that one got a little smudge there doesn't matter it will just add to the work so when i've taken off the excess colour i'm going to lay this however i like i like a few little spirals on the page up there maybe a little bit with the end the clear end hanging out I'm going to put my second piece of paper on top and then I'm going to get my book and I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to put a nice heavy hand on here now to keep a bit of weight but not so heavy that I can't pull the string out. So I want enough weight on here that it's pushing those two pieces of paper together nice and firmly but so I can still pull out this piece of string. So holding it down nice and firmly pulling out the string okay and then removing to see how we've got a beautiful effect here that's been pulled through by that string so what I'm going to do now is sketch out my design in pencil first it's always better to do these kind of things in pencil in case we make a mistake and then you can easily rub it out so just remember to draw nice and lightly with your pencil sketching out where I want my marks to be and my design I have just printed off a design from the internet so I'm going to use this one um, a nice interesting movement going on there which I thought would go nice with the movement on the page but you could do anything you like you could make it up on the spot similar to what I'm doing with you know um, an image in mind or you could one nice little trick that you could do is um, if you have a particular image you would like to do print it out and put it up against the window and it acts as like a light box so you can perfectly trace what it is you would like to do Now that I have my basic outline, I'm just going to go in with a biro. It may be that you have some nice fine liner pens which you could use with different thicknesses, but if you don't have them, you can simply just use a normal pen. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over my outline in pen and you can change the thicknesses of your line, make some really bold, some really thin. I am going to carry on doing this similar to how I was drawing with the pencil so nice and sketchily in small little lines to build them up this just really helps with your control of the pen it means you're not going to go off and do some big squiggles and do them wrong so just take your time over it and that 
really sketchily technique helps with the precision. Notice now when I'm going to go around this way, I'm going to move my hand. So I'm not going to try and squeeze up like this to change it. I'm going to move my hand so I've got a nice big curve. Alternatively, I could move the paper around to make it easier for myself. Don't try and squish yourself up. Use the space. Turn the paper. Use your hand like a lever. I'm going to work into this a little bit more and over some sections like repeat my marks with the pen and where I'm layering them and repeating the marks it's going to be darker so that's where my tone is going to be so those are my darker sections. Tone's really important to help your piece of work stand out and really catch somebody's eye. So it's really good to get some dark and light sections in there to really make the piece pop. A lot of people are quite frightened to put some darker sections in, but don't be because it's these darker bits, those darker sections that really stand out to the viewer and get them to look at the work. And then over here, just doing those lines. At the end, I will rub out these pencil lines here. Easily done. But they just act as guidelines is where I need to be marking out my pen. I'm really happy with how my piece has turned out. But if you want to add some colour to this, you can. So I've got a blue pen, which I thought would go really nice with this pink quite contrasting, something to really make it stand out and be eye-catching. And I also have a pink Sharpie and I'm going to add the pink just to the shell here a little bit to bring some of this pink into the shell, into this side of the artwork. You can use any kind of pens you want, pencils, crayons, anything you want, make it a bit mixed media. So the Sharpie is quite thick, so I'm going to try to use the point and be quite careful with how much I add. I don't want to add too much so just a few lines in there blending it through trying to make it look a bit more subtle um, maybe I add just a few little lines kind of still trying to stick with that mark making and then perhaps a little bit of blue just to deepen it you can see that some of the uh, biro has run where I've put the sharpie on there but the blue will be quite dark, so I could use it to help with the tone to get some really dark sections in there. And you can see that actually just by adding that little bit of a darker but different colour, it helps it just come off the page a little, bit, a little bit just to be a little bit more noticeable to stand out that little bit more which is what we all want with our artwork for it to be noticed put some round in here maybe go with the direction there of the actual um, dragging of the ink or the paint whatever you've used and there we have it a mixed media piece of artwork made by pulling ink or paint and drawing on top.